Hey, what's going on everybody? Nintenkid91 back with you. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We are inside the... what is it? Lake Bed Temple, I think is the name of it. I saved us some time getting here so we don't have to deal with watching everything. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit these torches here and re-get that stray fairy we got in the last episode. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the temple today. And I think I'm gonna do, like, one big recording session. And uh, probably have it be like four parts. So, this temple should be done in four videos if everything goes correctly. So we got our first stray fairy here, which we ended up getting last time before I quit out. Because I didn't want to really go any further than this. Well, today's our lucky day, because we get to enjoy this beautiful temple. By beautiful, I don't really mean beautiful. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But we're going to do it anyways. So, right off the bat, I'm going to do some stuff. Got a switch over here that we need to hit, so we'll just swim as the Zora. Basically, there's going to be a lot of these switches here that we have to... Well, actually, what we really need to do is actually pull it. You can't push it for some reason. No, you can push these ones. You have to... to, to controls! Controls! You have to push these ones. Dude, I cannot control Zora right now. What the heck? Okay, there we go. You have to push these ones when you're underwater. Certain ones you have to push, certain ones it seems like you have to pull. I don't remember. Whatever. So, turning the switch watch, it'll make the water flow there. So now we have a nice flowing current. Now that we got that, I'm gonna swim back over here. And look at another straight fairy. So let's see if we can hit him directly with our swimming ability. And sure enough, we did. So we got these elevators here. And I'm actually gonna whip off the mask because I'm gonna need to use the bow here. Because I got a Skulltilla I got to knock down. And actually, within the Skulltilla is another fairy. As you'll hear. Get some rupees down here. This one you have to get with the stray fairy mask, though. I almost forgot that I even had this thing. <laughs> so I think after we get this one, it should be all the stray fairies for this room. And it is. Awesome. So we already got three. And we've gone through <laughs> not even one whole room of the temple. How crazy is that? It's not going to be that easy, though. This, uh... This dungeon or temple definitely has some pretty tricky hidden stray fairies. More towards the end, though, than the beginning. The beginning's pretty easy, but later on, it gets intense. Alright, I'm gonna knock out these two real quick, just so I don't accidentally jump into them when I jump off the platform. Oh, nice. They're nice enough to drop us some arrows. Oh, that one didn't drop shit, though. Oh, well. Alright, let's see if we can make this jump. Yes, we did. Perfect. Alright. So this next room is pretty much like the central room. Every temple seems to have a central room, of course. This one is it. Hmm, I get it. That huge water wheel is powering this thing. Yes, it is, Navi. Er, Tal. Tattle Tal, my bad. You ain't Navi. Alright, there's a straight fairy, I think, in that thing. Yeah, pretty sure it's that one. Let's see if I can ride this thing. It's a big wheel. It's a big paddle looking thing. Just get to the other side. Should be able to jump down from here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, there is a stray fairy up in here that I remember. This one's uh, pretty easy to get. Obviously not too difficult. This next one, though, oh my god. So what we want to do now, if I could not dive off the platform and land on there, is we want to sink to the bottom of this big circular room here. And I'm going to try to actually just swim. Because down in this pot in the middle, there is another stray fairy. And this one is such a pain in the butt to get. Really, the best way, I think, is the boomerang. And then spin the opposite way that you're, uh, that the current is taking you. And that way, you can actually catch up to it and aim at it. So there we go. That thing took a lot less time than I thought it would. So this room has a bunch of different areas that you can branch off of based on which direction the current is flowing. And right now, it's letting us go into that room. And that's the one that we need to actually get into here. So I'm just going to do a quick lap around. But pretty much what you're going to be doing throughout this temple is changing the direction of water. Because certain rooms you can only go in while the water is spinning counterclockwise. And then other times you can get in when it's spinning clockwise. So that's what we need to do real quick. Some fish down. I'm not even going to deal with those guys unless they come near me. This one I'll get rid of. Because he wants to mess. So is that one. Get out of here. All right. Um, oh, there's a stray fairy in here we can get to. Yes. I, I'm starting to remember where all these stray fairies are. But I think I need to be have the hook shot out to get it. Because I think we got a hook shot to this chest. 
Yeah, we do. Okay. So hook shot to that. And then... I think this is the... What is this? I don't even remember. Let's see what it is. Ooh, what did we get? We got the map. Okay, so that's a dungeon map. Alright. I thought that might be a stray fairy. I think there's a stray fairy in one of these pots, actually. So I'm just gonna... I don't know if I can make it up there right now. Yeah, there is. Okay. Then we'll just use the mask to get it, because there's no point of, like, just swimming over there right now. Sure enough. I think that's all of them in here. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Link does a celebratory move with his sword. I never noticed that. That's funny. Alright, now we gotta go down into this room, where these hands are. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get down there. I'm not sinking correctly. There we go. Alright, swim in there. Awesome. Yeah, the swimming controls, man, these are hard to get used to. You, it's really going to take some time to get used to them, but you'll be able to. Oh, let's see if I can just swim through these. Did I kill them all? No, they're still alive. Alright, I'll just hit you with this. Ah, boomerang can be so confusing underwater because it doesn't... It needs to, like, go in a set pattern. So it kind of, like, does a Y. Or, like, a... Uh, it does, like, a U shape. Kind of like a real boomerang would. It's kind of a pain in the butt, though. Alright, let's see, get on top of your link, climb up there. Alright, oh, look at this guy, he thinks he's all badass up there, that's funny. Alright, let's see if we can hack him down. Nice. Alright, I think he's gonna run into the water, which I kind of didn't want him to. Oh, dang it. Now I can't get him. Because he's getting, yeah, my stupid boomerang's hitting both sides of him. Oh, I wonder if I can hit him with arrows. Can I actually stand on this as Link? Yes! Perfect. I didn't know if I could stand on there as Link or not. <laughs> Wasn't sure. Oh, where'd you go, you little turd? You butthole. You're like right underneath me, aren't you? Yeah, you totally are. Where is he? He's moving. I can hear him moving. He's still underneath. There we go. Thank you. Alright, get up there. Should be a chest that appears right here. Oh, did I land on- Yes! It formed underneath me! Woohoo! I love when it does that. It's so funny. Alright. This should be another straight fairy. I think this is what, like our seventh? Yeah, that's our seventh. Okay, so good. That's correct. That should be our seventh. Alright, so once you got that straight fairy, what we need to do is pretty much just go the only way that we can go right now, and that's through here. Because we're pretty much out of options. If we go any further. And immediately turn to your right here because uh, there's a stray fairy in this pot. Yeah. You can get that one just by throwing on the fairy mask. Because if you jump into that water, there's a real sharp current. And it'll take you through uh, through the other side here. And then you'll end up back in that main big circular chamber. So let's just not do that. Let's see. Um, can I hit these guys with arrows? I don't think I can hit the hand. But I'm pretty sure I can hit these guys. Ha! <laughs> There you go. Oh, they're still alive even after you shoot them. Damn, those things take a lot of hits. And they move fast. Get over here, little bugger. Alright, did I get them? Yes, I did. Get those arrow drops. I'm running low already. I'm only I'm already at 35. Alright, so those things can grab you. And then if you just throw on the electricity, you're pretty much good. Get another arrow. Nice, we got full. Okay, what the heck is this going to be then? A key? Yes, it is a key. Okay, cool. Whoa, don't swim into the wall. Dumb, dumb. Okay, um... Yeah, this is the only other thing we need to do in here. Alright. I gotta get, gotta get rid of that mm, bomb mouse up there. I don't really know the proper name for it, but he's a real... Dang it. I think I need to be... Z oh, wait, I can hook shot up to that. That's right. Because it's a chest. There we go. This is probably a stray fairy or something. I'm not even sure what it is, actually, to tell you. To, to be honest, I have no idea what this is. Look at Link. He's showing off his ass as he climbs in there. Oh, it's the compass. Okay, so now we got the map and the compass already. That's a good deal. There's one more chest in here, but we obviously can't get it yet because it is locked away behind those bars right there. We can't get up there just yet. So we'll be returning to this room in a little bit, though. And then we'll be able to get that that last chest in here and be done with this place. Alright, so... Now I believe I need to go down here. I hope I do. Yes, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. 
Because this is really the only other way we can go at this point. Yeah, that's true. Okay, cool. Then that's correct. Damn thing. Is there any stray fairies in here? I'm not sure, but I want to get rid of this guy too. Oh, oh, damn it! Get over here, little butthead. Where are you? Where are you coming up? There you go. Are you kidding me? There we go. Gosh. Could not hit him. He kept moving around. <laughs> Thought I was going to hit the bomb. Alright, there's no stray fairies in here, so that's good. I didn't think there was. I just wanted to be sure before I screw something up. So once you have your key, this is pretty much the only accessible door you can actually get to, so you're pretty much, uh, <laughs> like, stuck going this way no matter what. Alright, so we're going to want to stock up on some arrows as well as some um, magic here because we have our first mini boss coming up. So, and you're going to be using a lot of arrows and a lot of uh, magic. So, Well, that's the best way to do this boss. Do him in, I guess you could say. Kill him would be the better thing to say. You want to have some magic, so I'm going to wait for this other uh, chew to spawn here so we can get the magic from him if he does. Where is he? There he is. Okay, good. Come on, give me that magic. Alright, we're good to go. I'm going to throw out the fire arrows here. So there's a couple uh, ways that you can beat this guy, and I'll go over it once we start, but as you can see, we're locked. In like good old Zelda fashion, what do you do? Look at the ceiling, and what the hell? 